Bunnyville's chief civil engineer, Arthur Fussbunny, has his way. All right, let's get a move on. I want that moldering mansion reduced to rubble by quitting time. I don't know, Mr. Fussbunny. We hear this old place is, uh, haunted. Haunted? <laughs> now, why would any bunny say that? <laughs> Go. Just wait till tomorrow! Go! <laughs> and of course, wherever there's mayhem and terror, there's the dumb bunnies! Whoops! Looks like we've run out of maple syrup! Well, we'll just have to walk the rest of the way home. Or bicycle. Or skate. Or toboggan. But it'll be dark soon. Oh, you're right, baby. Maybe we should stay the night at that cozy hotel. A cozy hotel? Oh, oh my. The dumb bunnies have no idea what they're in for. But then again, neither does the ghost. Good thing we always pack our suitcases before we go for a drive around the block. That's my papa. Good question. Who could mistake this spooky old haunted mansion for a cozy hotel? We're the dumb bunnies! Who are you? And where are you? Hmm! Doors that open and lock by themselves, voices that come from nowhere. You know what this means? Oh, this is one of those modern, fully automated hotels. Jumping jackrabbits! It's a robot! <laughs> It wants to carry our luggage! I think we're supposed to follow it to our room. Go! Okie dokie! Uh, which way? The arm points this way. Oh. That's my boy! What a comfy bed! It's like I'm floating on air! My back now. Here's a hanky, Papa! The last guest seemed to have left the room in a bit of a mess. Look! Clean 
sheets. Oh. Go away. Leave now. Go away? It's checkout time already? Well, we better clean up before we go. We want to leave the room neat and tidy for the next guests. That's my mama. Every time. Now that really makes my fur stand on end. Oh, just like when Baby plays the accordion. No, please stop. Not the accordion. Ah! Yes, there's nothing as terrifying as spending a night in a haunted mansion with the dumb bunnies. And so the night of unending terror at the Haunted Mansion continues, thanks to Baby and his accordion. <laughs> That's my boy! <laughs> Imagine how good he could be if he took lessons. Stop! Please! I can't take any more! <laughs> oh, the horror! Hibbity hibbity hop! He just appeared out of thin air! You know what that means! <laughs> He's, He's a, a ghost! Aw, and we frightened the poor dear! Oh, you win. I give up. Tell your boss I'll be gone by dawn and he can tear the old place down. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, why would Professor Bunsen want to tear down this lovely hotel? Aren't you working for that mean and nasty Arthur Fuss Bunny? Not unless Professor Bunsen changed his name when I wasn't looking. Oh dear, it seems we've started off on the wrong foot. No, these look like ours. I'm Ned Scary. We're the Dumb Bunnies. <laughs> and we're not so scary once you get to know us. <laughs> As dawn begins a new day, Ned Scary explains his ghostly carryings on while Mama makes supper for breakfast. What you've mistaken for a quaint hotel is actually my home sweet haunted home. But it won't be for long if Arthur Fuss Bunny has his way. But why would anyone want to tear down such a cozy place? Why else? That Fuss Bunny is just cold hearted, mean, and nasty, that's all. Which is why I've had no choice but to keep frightening him and his work crews away. Well, another day, another... Uh, phone call from the mayor. What do you call your... No, Mayor Rabinovich, it hasn't been demolished yet. But I can't find a work crew that will... By today? But, but... Yes, Mayor Rabinovich, no excuses. What am I gonna do? I have to get rid of that mean-spirited ghost today or I'm out of a job! And of course, wherever there's somebody needing something, there's Sly Fox ready to sell it to them at a hefty price. Somebody called for a ghost exterminator? Huh? No. Uh, not yet. Yeah, but you were gonna, see? I know, because I've got psychic powers. That's a real advantage in the ghost exterminating business. All right, you're hired. I am? I mean, uh, yeah, sure I am. Uh, I knew that. I'm psychic, remember? That mean, nasty old ghoul leaves me no choice. I don't suppose you have any maple syrup for the mashed potatoes, do you, Ned? Sorry, all out. I've been meaning to go get some from the haunted pancake house down the road, but I just haven't had the time. What with haunting that nasty fuss bunny and his crews. We'll go get some for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we can bring back extra for the car. 
Wait, you'd better wear these. The Haunted Pancake House has a strict dress code. Boo! That's my ghost! Spooky spirit, evil toad! Pack your bags and hit the road! Garlic? I thought that was to scare off vampires. It is? I mean, oh, sure it is. That's just in case you have a ghost that's also a vampire, see? Ghosts. Yeah, right. As if there's even any such thing as a... <gasps> Ghosts? Where? Hey, you're not ghosts. We're the dumb bunnies. Ned's the one who's a ghost. He's our friend. How can you be friends with a ghost? Oh, it's easy. But whatever you do, don't play the accordion. That makes him mad? Nope. Scares him silly. The poor dear. See you later. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> I want that moldy old fire trap demolished in record time! But what about the, um, ghost? Go away! Don't mind him. He was just leaving. And a one, and a two, and... No, no, not that, no! I can't bear it! Stop! <laughs> well, the dumb bunnies have the haunted maple syrup. But by the time they get back, all that's left of Ned Scary's haunted home is... A parking lot? And I finished right on schedule! Oh, dear. Do you know what this means? Yes! I win! <laughs> oh, and I lose. Who ever heard of a haunted parking lot? Ooh. Don't worry, you can haunt our house. That's my boy. Always thinking of others, even if he can't see them. Hey, don't you want to park? Hmm, I wonder what the rest of Bunnyville will think of the dumb bunny's new house guest. Or should I say, house ghost? feel right at home. While Mama knits some cobwebs, Papa fixes the door. <laughs> and Baby does the dusting. Yes, Ned makes quite an impression on the rest of the neighborhood. He even becomes something of a celebrity when Baby brings him to school for show and tell. <laughs> Meanwhile, his old enemy, Arthur Fussbunny, is still savoring his victory. I won! <laughs> but not as much as he thought he would. At last, a customer. Pick a parking spot. Any parking spot. Take three. Oh, no thanks, dude. Uh, like, is this the way to the haunted bungalow? Haunted bungalow? Oh, I hear it's, like, totally scary. 
Ned Scary, that is, and he's having the time of his afterlife as thrill-seeking bunnies come from far and wide to visit Bunnyville's newest attraction. And of course, wherever there's a noisy, fun-loving crowd, there's a massive traffic jam. Step right this way, folks, to the spookiest hotspot in town. And wherever there's a massive traffic jam... There's Bunnyville's chief of police, Officer Moody McBunny. Right! What's all this, then? Duh. Like, it's a haunted bungalow, officer dude. Fuck! I better get to the bottom of this! Look at all the cars! All right! Open up in there! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Is anybody home? May I, I... take your hat? Ah, put that down! Put me down! <laughs> The new trap door works like a charm, Papa. Oh, he loves to tinker. That's my Papa. And that's Officer Moody. Aye, and I'm gonna have to shut you down for running a haunted house without adequate parking. Did I hear someone say parking? Foss Bunny, I suppose this is all you're doing. Mr. Foss Bunny? Well, isn't he the mean, nasty bunny Ned was telling us about? I thought he'd look meaner than this. And nastier. He tore down my house. It was falling down, a safety hazard! Not to mention it was haunted by a mean, nasty ghost! I thought it was haunted by Ned. He's a nice ghost. I had no choice. Neither did I. I was just doing my job. So was I. Calm down. I can't write fast enough to get all the details. You know, this reminds me of Cousin Millie. Our Cousin Millie Ear Pierce? <laughs> Who else? Yay! Ah, no, this is no time for any... Too late, Officer Moody. It's time for the Dumb Bunny Family Album. Our cousin Millie Ear Pierce is an artiste, don't you know? You can tell by all the earrings. Now, one day, Millie heard someone crying outside her window. <laughs> it was her neighbor, June Bunny. So, uh, what's the matter, June? June was upset because the land bunny, Mr. Clodhopper, had just told her he had no choice but to turn her flower garden into a garbage dumpster. But it's the only bit of space I have for my garden. Don't look at me. It's the only room I got for a dumpster. Now that my old factory's turned into apartments full of bunnies, I got more garbage than I know what to do with, all right? Luckily, Cousin Millie knew exactly what to do with it. <laughs> Millie took Mr. Claude Hopper's garbage and June Bunny's flowers and turned the courtyard into a very artistic garbage sculpture garden. Yay! Our Millie's a real genius. <laughs> she doesn't get that from my side of the family. What a touching story. Yes, it was. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You know, I think I am. My turn, my turn! I love party games. Somebody guess what I'm thinking. Oh, that's easy, Papa. You're thinking I only made things worse by scaring Arthur here. And you're thinking I was too scared and too stubborn to realize Ned needs a home more than the city needs a parking lot in the middle of nowhere. Aye, and you're thinking that if these two had sat down and talked things over, they could have saved themselves and everybody else a whole lot of trouble. Jumping jackrabbits. I'm thinking all of that. Oh, <laughs> Papa loves to think. 
He's a genius! That's my papa! What do you know? Being a genius is easier than I thought! That's right, Papa. And I think the world would be a smarter place if we all could learn to think more like the dumb bunnies. There's a rundown mansion on the edge of town that's brand new, thanks to Bunnyville's chief civil engineer, Arthur Fussbunny, and a parking lot that's nearly full, thanks to Ned Scary's legendary haunting talents. Bravo! You built a brand new, rundown old mansion in record time. Only this one meets all the safety codes and has plenty of parking! What are we waiting for? Let's get spooking. <laughs> Why don't I take that? You go have fun. Wait for me! Yes, Mayor Rubinovich. Well, did you get the idea from Bunnyville's biggest... Thank you, ma'am. Yes, it was the perfect solution. That's right, ma'am. We never could have done it without the dumb bunny. Hibbity-hop, that's us. 